<laughs> Hi everyone, it's, uh, it's Halloween tomorrow, well, there's a Halloween party here at work tomorrow, so I thought it might be fun to build a turret. Um, you can get a turret toy that uh, you've got to press the button and it uh, you know, has some sound caps from the game, but I thought uh, it might be fun to build one that was uh, motion activated. I've had a motion activated toy here with a little zat zat gun that uh, it's been annoying people for a while. It was sitting on a sort of little spreadboard, so I finally decided to build it into an actual thing. And I used a real pumpkin, um, little 99 cent pumpkin that I got from a uh, local grocery store. And I cut it up and uh, stripped it out, and I've made a well, it sort of resembles a turret. Circuit's really simple, uh, it essentially detects changes in ambient light, so I've got it pointed towards the window or the lights here, so as people walk past, it should be triggered. Um, should be a lot of fun. It, the the zat zat thing annoyed people. This is a bit quieter, and uh, I'm sure it'll be okay for a, a day or two. It's so cute. I love the turrets. Anyway, here's the circuit. It's very simple. There's uh, I've, the thing that I've put here as a photo diode is actually a cadmium sulfide cell. I uh, I was just doing this really really quickly in the in this nice program for schematic capture. You can see it's got uh, really brute force, two um, common emitter amplifiers, and then over here a monostable. I um, pull the, there's an output pulse, obviously, you know, when this transistor starts to conduct, the, this voltage goes up, and I drive that actually through a small resistor and, and pulse into the, um, the sound chip out of the, the turret toy. Works pretty well. In the past, um, I was using this little zap zap thingy here. Which is actually a really awesome toy that I found in a local store. Uh, it was about four bucks, I think. Probably about yeah, about that. And um, it works in much the same way. Uh, it's a quite a different chip, though. This thing's got a, an encapsulated thing, whereas the turret actually has a, a little eight-pin device. Anyway, uh, where's the the turret shell? So there's not a whole lot going on inside the turret. There's uh, there's just a speaker. There's no motion detection or anything. The the light up uh, part of it is a switch on the back that turns it on and off. And then there's a button that you press to make it actually make you know enunciate. I suppose I should put antennas on mine as well. I didn't think about that. Anyway, um, super quick. I'm not dead. I'm just busy here at my new job doing lots of interesting things that unfortunately I can't tell you too much about and I'm actually being rather careful about what I'm showing you here on the video but uh, I will be doing stuff in the future we've been speaking internally about talking a little bit more about um, in general what we do and how we do it and uh, more of that will be forthcoming very soon I hope anyway um, I thought that was a fun little diversion to talk about tonight and uh, I'll be back soon. Bye.